Thanks for tuning in, folks, to another episode. Happy Friday. And as you can see here, we have a lot more new goodies that came in for the general. Basically, this video here is going to wrap up what we got in store for next week. Also, to all the fathers out there, this coming Sunday, happy Father's Day. So let's get down to what is actually in this box, but I have a whole lot more stuff coming in probably tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday. So the first thing we got here, we have the Hypertech power chip that has showed up. It's called the Street Runner. We'll make a separate video on that. So there's that. <laughs> I also ended up getting this auto gauge auto meter tack here which looks pretty sharp and what I found out on these TBI's already there's a connector up top here on the coil that's already set up for an external tack so you don't have to try to find a wiring which is pretty sweet um, I got the free flowing um, thermostat, uh, I forgot the degrees again, but anyway, I got the hot, hot, not free flow, but high flow thermostat. Also, as you can see here, um, we got all new seals. So this is complete seals for the entire door, window area so gonna basically chain change all that out and then also one of my favorites that I've been wanting for a while and this kit seems pretty easy um, it's these window wind-up regulators so basically you know, it's the aftermarket, of course, but you see this just turns like where you would spin the door handle. I mean, not the door handle, the uh, window. And they, they had really good reviews, and it doesn't cost. This set was pretty cheap. It's only like $65. So it comes with the switches that go exactly where the crank handles are. So it'll almost look like factory. Um, but it, what else we have as far as updates coming for interior? Um, of course, I'm going to take the door panels off. I'm going to take the host seats and stuff back out. And I got heat shielding to go down to the floor. And then I got a whole molded carpet that's going to go in there. Now inside the truck is already textured painted, bed line, but uh, it gets pretty warm in there on the floor because of that exhaust. So I kind of want to just soundproof it a little bit more and heat because it's going to get hot here in July. So next thing is I'm going to take the door panels off and sand up the door panels freshen those up with some paint and of course do the window regulators the door seals um, all that stuff um, also I still got to fix the exhaust because we basically still have straight pipes I want to do it I want to probably make my own H pipe and then run the exhaust you know further back let it dump you know back there by the rear axle I'm still trying to find the exact do-it-yourself exhaust kit for that um, I was going to set up for a local exhaust place and get it done but most of them around here close at 5 and you got to try to set up an appointment and the and if they're really good there's long lines and right now with my work schedule man I've been doing 
10 hour days, six days a week. Um, so it's pretty tough to try to fly to an exhaust place. And then I'm sure it's gonna be a budget of 400 something dollars for exhaust. So I'm just gonna do it myself for now and then maybe later on down the road if I don't like it, I'll get some professional to do it. But I think I can manage something good right now. I mean, the exhaust works good right now, it's just loud, super loud. Oh, uh, let's see, what else we got coming? I got new mirrors coming. Um, Cause these are super old and they're kind of raggedy. So I, I got some that are already the black. I uh, got that coming. Uh, I do got tint for the windows that I already have, just never gotten to put it on yet to get rid of that tint that is in there. Um, what else do we have that's coming? Uh, let's see my list here. Let's see. We have. Oh, I got a the whole air conditioner controller knobs and all that. This one, when you turn it all the way up, I've already changed the fan and all that. It doesn't still doesn't blow very strong. So the whole control unit, um, I got a used one coming because it's definitely something done with it because even the knob and stuff comes off but uh, yeah the, these AC control setup as you can see uh, I got basically that so hopefully that fixes that um, yeah here, here's the molded molded carpet I'm talking about black so that'll be nice once that's in um oh yeah uh, speedometer gauge pod RP tack and all that because this is a v6 setup I had to order a used one of course but a whole gauge cluster for a v8 so my thing won't be redlining as I'm driving down the interstate because of the whole V6 calibration. And that should be about it. Um, also on the seating, I got the seat setting a little too high. So I'm going to make a video about seat adjustment to try to get the racing seats more adjustable. Or more comfortable sorry um, right now I just basically put it at the stock height the bench seat was because I just mounted it straight to the same frame so we may have to cut however many inches we need off of that uh, I read some stuff about you need to set up your racing seat where you know your eyesight is like straight middle with the windshield you know your feet can sit on the floor you know with your heel comfortably with a little bit of arch in your knee and then you can fully press the gas all the way down which I can't do that right now um, so uh, we're basically gonna put the seat in there and probably just take some wood and find out what's the happy medium and then just dissect the stock seat mount to get the right height. So that was what we'll start doing come Monday of next week. We'll start rolling with those videos. Um, I'll try to do short videos every day if possible. Um, these videos are probably a little bit shorter um, to try to make content for every day and plus with the hours I'll be working so there will probably be like 10 minute videos um, and it may not be a, a, the complete whole video you know you may see it in small parts instead of making these 20 30 minute videos which is usually like four hours worth of footage 
compress down. So enough about rambling on and talking and all that. Normally I don't do videos like this where I just ramble on and on because I get tired of watching channels. It's all they do is talk. But I don't normally talk all the time, so if it's your first time watching this video, this is not the norm for me. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of updates coming for the general to try to get her, you know, more like brand new man because once I get this all done this will be the daily I'll drive this sucker daily and then we'll start working on the drift car uh, so basically um, we'll start with this hypertech chip that'll be the next video then probably run with the tag uh, well we'll do the thermostat and then when we start moving on into the interior, that's really going to shut some stuff down because we won't be able to drive it. Uh, that'll probably be more so as a weekend upload. But yeah, um, this weekend, going to head to Oklahoma to see my dad because it's Father's Day weekend. i got to work in the morning, so I'll leave there go to Oklahoma. So won't be much to be able to upload this weekend because I'm not going to be here. So, uh, anyway, just wanted to give a shout out to all, all you dads out there. And, and if you haven't seen your dad in a while, go pay him a visit. So, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next week. And as always, keep it simple. Keep it sweet.